what's cracking everyone, DJ Duck here. Welcome back to another video where today I'll be showing you 10 tips and tricks in Pet Sim X. That is right. Alright, so for the first thing, and not a lot of people know this, but if you just simply hold click on coins, all your pets will be sent out. And obviously if you click on once, one pet will be sent out to go do your job of collecting coins. That is right. And that is it for the first tip. Alright, for the second tip, I am in the glacier area. But whenever you're standing on top of things such as a vault, a chest, a crate, you will actually collect things really really cool and you know, it doesn't have to be this area by the way, it could be any area that spawns this stuff, whether it's a chest, glacier, or chest, and again it's gotta be kind of small, if it, you know it spawns a big chest, sometimes it, at spawn there's a chest that spawns that's like, has 400 to 500k health, yeah you won't be uh, reaching that there, but if it's like small like this chest, or that chest right there, and you go to grind it, which my pet is currently having one of them, or I'll get all of them, you will actually get all the loot from it that will just simply collect it and you won't miss a single thing and you won't need to you know spend some gems on upgrading that thing until you actually reach the end the lava chest the big chest and yeah that's pretty much it for the second tip now on to the third tip you should definitely know your tiers of loot that says chests are the best for money second are vaults third are saves fourth are crates and last is presents that is right you should definitely know the order chests vaults saves Crates and presents, you should know the difference between the two because vaults are the tall ones, safes are the short ones when you're doing your achievements. And speaking of achievements, for the fourth tip, achievements are definitely a good thing if you go to your pet menu, go here, you see the achievements here, they help you with your rank I'm pretty sure and help you level up and stuff and your achievements will give you tons of gems and they actually have a little percentage bar here you can see and it shows you how close you are. It actually orders them in order of how close you are to completing a thing. And it says whether they're easy, medium, hard, sane. And then it shows all your obviously completed ones. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the fourth tip. Alright, and for the fifth tip, ranking up. That is right, ranking up is super important. So when it has like, it's kind of a, a play on to the fourth tip. But as you do your achievements and you just grind, you'll slowly see that your percentage bar will go up on the right here. And those, that will be actually very, very important because you can earn boosts from this. And from the boosts, you can actually save your boosts, which is a really cool feature in the game. And as you can see, I have eight triple coins, nine super lux, which can be super, super useful. And on top of that, if I teleport to the shop, there is like a rank rewards. And I think you will earn this every once in a while. So this can give you, I think, boosts and stuff. I think the better you'll get better stuff the higher your rank is i'm not sure if it gives coins or gems but it's never given anything you know i see the timer but i'm not sure if it's giving me stuff but this rank rewards so i think you get better stuff as you rank up so that is definitely a good tip for ranking up and that is it for the fifth tip and now let's head back to the great glacier area or zone whatever you want to call it for the sixth tip all right so for the sixth tip not a lot of people know this but I feel like gems spawn the most here in the center area part right here or just in this zone area in general. So I definitely recommend when you are grinding this area to go for the gems, especially if you're a public server. Now a lot of people who are in this area in a public server, they're mostly grinding it for the coins to get to the next area. So I definitely recommend, you know, leaving out, you know, maybe taking care of the small stuff, letting the big stuff spawn so that the other players who are trying to get to the next zone you know, get there easier by farming the big things. So I recommend you go for the small things. And also the gems, obviously. If you're trying to go unlock the, you know, the Forsaken Gate, which is 100k gems. Because this is one of the best areas for gems. For the next tip is egg grinding. So let's head to spawn. Alright, so for the 7th tip, I recommend doing egg grinding. I recommend you usually open the gold pets. I usually maybe go for like the second egg. And then go for a team of goldens on the first egg. And then as soon as you get six, I recommend you go if you have the mine area unlocked. Get a rainbow, which gives 100% to get your gems worth so you don't fail. And I recommend you only go ra one rainbow. And then as soon as you get a team of rainbow, I recommend you move on to the next area and do the exact same thing. Because that is definitely a good way to move. I definitely don't, don't recommend getting a full rainbow team from the same egg. As that will be a waste of time. And you should keep on moving forward. Alright, for the 8th tip, I recommend only fusing 3 tips in the beach area. As when usually when you fuse 3 pets, that's the only value you're going to get when it's combined. 
Unless you have some spare pets you just want to chuck in there. In that case, go for it if you want to get rid of some pets. Although there is, I believe, a chance if you do throw in a pet that's worse, there's a chance that it might go lower. As I've seen someone combine three Dominus before on a stream, they fused with three, and they ended up actually getting a 10k pet, which is kind of bad. So I definitely think there is a risk when you throw in more than one pet. Alright, for the ninth tip, I recommend obtaining legendaries through fusing. I've actually seen it where people are more likely to get legendaries from the fusing than actually hatching eggs and spending like three hours hatching. I've seen many people who get like rainbow pets, gold pets, go say that egg and then what they do is they use it and it actually gives them a legendary. And I think that is the best way to get legendaries is through fusing. If you take rainbows and leg or potentially golds, you may get a legendary, which I actually did at one point get a legendary. I tried sacrificing it to the rainbow god. And um, let's just say it did not work out because I'm trying to get that you know one achievement done where it says like sacrifice one legendary to 13 percent you know because I got a gold legendary from there and yeah I failed uh, I did not get that quest completed so uh, I want to hunt for more legendaries. Alright, for the next tip is a uh, 10th tip. Uh, this is a, definitely a very important tip you should know, and that is how to calculate power. As you can see, my screen looks a little different, and that is because I went out of game capture mode and I went into just screen capture mode. So I can show this calculator and how to translate. That's because when you gold something, it usually gives three times the amount of power, and when you rainbow something, it gives 2.25 times the guaranteed power. So let's Let's give an example here. So say I have a pet turtle, golden turtle, which I've seen someone do, has 120 power. Uh, actually, no, let me, uh, yeah. Alright guys, time for the 10th tip. As you can see, I have a different screen on. As you can see, I have a calculator on my screen. I'm moving. I don't know why I'm bouncing it back and forth. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. And that is because I'm going to show you how to calculate your power of your pet. If you're wanting to know how much power it's going to give. And if it's worth rainbowfying or goldifying. That is right. When you goldify, you usually get three times the amount of strength. And when you rainbowfy, you get two point. 25 times the strength so here we go so here we go so say you have a turtle with 40 power and then you goldify it you get about three times the amount of strength so if we times that by three we get 120 power and then if we're going to rainbowfy it and say you got a bunch of goldens and you times it actually that's divided and you know i want to times and you times it by 2.25 that is usually the guaranteed power you will at least get which is 270 and that is how the machine works if anyone's wondering how it works and that is usually the guaranteed machine. it might be a little bit above it might be like 2.30 might be 40 or 2.35 who knows how much strength that actually gives but usually when rough out estimating that is usually the amount of strength that you will guarantee get or a little bit above when calculating power so if you're wondering if it's worth it uh, rainbow fire goldify there you go that's how you calculate if you want to get that pet anyways that is it for this today's video hope you enjoyed these tips and tricks hopefully they helped you out if you haven't already make sure to subscribe hit that like button and i'll see y'all next time and if you don't join the group down below in the description i will steal your bread that is right i will steal your bread and i'll see y'all next time quack quack out peace